Iowa down to two turnovers now. You said they needed a bucket, so guess what? They went 22's way. I mean, I think she's listening to me, Lisa. What do you think? I, <laughs> I think this is just what she does. She hits shots at the most crucial moments. Not afraid of that limelight, not afraid of taking the big one. That's a huge shot right there to cut this thing to five. Caitlin Clark, just two points in both the first and the third quarter. You see her tally, now she's at 26 points. She had 12 in the third, and she's working on a 10-point fourth quarter. Nebraska trying to hang on to this five-point lead. They go Markowski's way, misses everything. And they're going to want to go to Markowski with Stolke in foul trouble. Clark to Stolke. Fast break points here for Iowa, and it cuts the lead to three. And you see Lisa Bluter over there. She wants them to get running, and that's where they get their energy. They've got to defend to do that. Jazz Shelley feeding Markowski. Pocket pass beautifully done by the Huskers. See, that's all day because you know Stolke's not going to want to foul, so they've got to keep getting it in to Markowski. It's Caitlin Clark time. Crossover, hesitation, ball fake, kicks it to the corner. Kate Martin with a big three-pointer. Cuts the lead to two. That's her bestie right there, the sixth-year senior. Here we come, 62 seconds to a title. And we're back here in Iowa, down just two, but this shot in the corner right here by Kate Martin was a crucial one. Of course, great penetration by Caitlin Clark with the pitch out. I mean, she's got a lot of shooters around her, but the two of them have been playing together a long time. Another huge shot. And Iowa knocking out the door here, just a two-point game. Caitlin Clark, 26 points. Heavy dose of that scoring coming in the second half. Distributed in the first half, scored in the second half, and the sold-out crowd on its feet for the final few seconds of this championship. Markowski with the touch, facing the double team out to Nisley. And we head back the other way, a foul on Nebraska. It goes against Potts, her second. A big defensive possession there for Iowa. 14 fouls for Nebraska. The next one will send Iowa to the foul line. And that's the kind of shot you want to allow. And uh, Nisley couldn't, couldn't hit it, and they made it tough. Iowa trailing by two. Clark crosses it over against Shelly. Shoulder shake. Clark all the way left side. We're tied up at 77. I love the fact that Caitlin Clark has been taking it to the rim. Not just settling. She's hit some shots from outside, but boy, she is so adept at getting into the teeth of the defense. This is just one-on-one -on -one basketball all the way, and she is so deceptively strong. Her body control, when you see the way that she handles herself, what a big shot getting to the rim. And an appropriate basket. Her second half's been tremendous, Lisa. What we've talked about, distributed in the first half, scoring in the second half. Caitlin Clark, we asked her yesterday after they advanced to the finals. I, I said, how do you process this attention and still perform? And she said, I don't look at this as the Caitlin Clark farewell tour. I just know we're not guaranteed another game. I know we're going to be in the NCAA tournament, but this is one win or your go home kind of time. And, and, and this team, we love playing with each other. I want to end my career in the right way, and that is what my focus is on. Yeah, and that's what she's preaching to her teammates, too, is that leader. They have found ways to defend and get stops in the second half, and they've upped their offensive prowess a bit as well. Tied at 77. We'll see what Nebraska draws up coming out of the timeout. Shelly has it. You got to try to take the last shot here, obviously. Shot clock's not in play. Final few seconds, 14 in the game. 
11 in the game, Shelly. And Nebraska will call a timeout. One timeout left here for Amy Williams. And the luxury of having that those timeouts saved, she can kind of see the defense that Iowa is showing up. Now, who do you go to here? I mean, Jazz, Shelly, and Alexis Markowski. I'm sure there's going to be some sort of a pick and roll situation here where there's some options off of it. Remember, you don't need a three. A two is fine. Trying to get to the rim, try to draw contact, whatever you can do to get a bucket here to drain this clock. And with it tied at 77, you literally can take it down to the final second. In you know, worst case scenario, you head to overtime, but you don't want to give Iowa and Caitlin exactly. Clark a, a chance for some miracle three-quarter court heave. Yeah, and that's what she specializes at. So you've got to do your best to play this clock down and get a good shot. Amy Williams' family in attendance. Everyone on pins and needles who are associated with the players here out on the court. There's also a bonus situation here, too. Here's Hake. Six left in this championship game. Chad Shelley over to Nestle, who fires. It's short. We got extra basketball in the Big Ten Tournament Championship. from this madhouse in Minneapolis.